A major decision out of Coppers Cove ISD to start off the week. Students at Coppers Cove High School will move to all virtual learning beginning Wednesday. Terrell Baker is live tonight from the high school to tell us a little bit more about the decision and why it came now. Terrell. Todd, administrators with Compress Cove ISD say they're making the switch to virtual because they've seen a rise in cases in their staff. Hundreds of students at Compress Cove High School will be logging on to virtual classes this week. Our enrollment at the high school is about 2,200 students. And so we have about 17 or 1,800 students who effective Wednesday will be added to that virtual list for the high school. Superintendent Joe Burns says students could be using virtual learning until at least November. Burns says they made the call to switch due to a rise in cases. We have nine staff cases there, but we have, um, I think today we have 23 staff members that are not at work at the high school because of exposure or waiting to see if a test result comes back positive. Byrne says they have around 142 staff in total at the high school, and many of them are already at home teaching online classes. About a fourth of our teaching staff across this district are already providing virtual instruction to students. So if we have 100 and 140 staff members, we have about 35 or 40 of those staff members who are already providing virtual instruction. Burns says athletic and band practices will continue as scheduled, but students will have to wear face coverings as well as follow other social distancing guidelines. Burns says that Compress Cove ISD will also be providing free lunches and free breakfast at all elementary school campuses except for May Stevens. Drell, we've got a couple quick questions here. One, what about students that don't have access to a laptop? And then what about Wi-Fi access? Well, for that first question, when it comes to laptops and devices, the burn says that the district will be taking requests on November 2nd so that students and parents can request a device and they'll also schedule a time so they can come and pick that up. And they also say when it comes to Wi-Fi, they're going to be setting up a courtesy Wi-Fi kiosk right up here in the entrance of Compress Cove. And they're also going to be setting up another kiosk at Bulldog Stadium so students can come and they can watch a virtual class or they can also download their material that they need for classes. Live here in Compass Cove, Jarrell Baker, 25 News.